Okay, my girl. Hey, mister. I just want to be left alone, all right? Hey, we say it's Scram! <laughs> that looks like a decent horse! You should keep him! One of the first reasons I even noticed this game was the idea of exploring an open world by horseback. That premise intrigued me. But what was more interesting for me was that this game sparked an interest and passion for horses that I didn't even know was there. I've never been more emotionally attached to a bunch of zeros and ones than I am to the horses in this game. So here is my top 10 favorite horses. I put best in the title for the algorithm for Arthur in story mode. At number 10, we have the Mahogany Bay Tennessee Walker. He's Arthur's first horse, but more importantly, he is your first horse, and for that reason alone, he deserves a spot in this list. He's not the first horse in the game, that honor goes to Charles's horse, Taima, but he's the horse you learn to ride on, and he takes you into chapter 2. Number 9, we have the Sooty Buckskin Dutch Warm Blood, which you can steal from a prospector or buy from the Scarlet Meadows Stable. Dutch Warm Bloods are strong, big, and brave, three aspects I like in a horse. I suppose you could also include the Rose Bay Dutch Warm Blood from the Valentine Stable, who has far superior stats, but I just like this coat better. At number 8, we have the very pretty spotted Appaloosa, which you can get after rescuing Tilly in Chapter 4. She's small, fast, and has one of the most unique coats in the game. Oh, Lily May! Lily May! Hey, mister. I just want to be left alone, alright? Lucky number seven is the short but speedy Nakoda, which can be stolen from camps or found in the wild. They're a little temperamental, but their acceleration makes them one fast horse. At number 6, we have one of my favorites, the Grulo Dunn Mustang, which can only be found in the wild. They are small, they are fast, they are brave, and they are loyal. You cannot go wrong with this iconic American horse. Here we go. Yeah, good girl. Yeah, you're okay, girl. At number 5 are the Arabians. Yes, they are small and big temperamental divas, but you can't deny their innate beauty and impressive speed. They are elite for a reason. Hello, sir. Hello. At number 4 we have the Golden Turkoman, which combines the size of a war horse with the speed and handling of an elite, along with one of the prettiest coats in the game. We say it's Graham. All right. Guess they'll just listen for the explosion. <sighs> we'll be famous for this one. Well, it's about damn time. We've been planning this too long. Guess there's nothing left to do but to light up. No, you never say so. So, care to set off? You kidding me? You're the expert here. Hmm? Well, here goes nothing. Not a good plan, boys. Whoa, serves him right.
For number three, we have the Piebald Tobiano Hungarian Halfbred, which you can find in Chapter 5 or steal from a bounty hunter camp. The Hungarians have the size, strength, and bravery I look for in a quality horse for missions and hunting. At number two is the Brindle Thoroughbred, which is my go-to horse for hunting and missions. Along with size and bravery, you get speed, which makes her an almost perfect horse. She would be my number one, if not for the next horse. And at number one, we have the Silver Dapple Pinto Missouri Foxtrotter, which you can sometimes find at Moonstone Pond if you're very lucky. She's a post-game horse that shouldn't even be available for Arthur and arguably the best horse in the game. There, girl. Of course, we have some honorable mentions because, boy, do I love horses. Starting with the Flaxen Chestnut Hungarian Halfbred, the Amber Champagne Missouri Foxtrotter from the Scarlet Meadow Stables. Look how her coat shines in the sunset. The Buttermilk Buckskin Kentucky Saddler, my current favorite. Yeah, good boy. The Red Roan Tennessee Walker with a pretty strawberry blonde mane and tail. There we go. And finally, the Ultimate Edition bonus horse, the Reverse Dapple Black Thoroughbred. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again further on down the trail. You see any more, Arthur? Don't think so. Jesus. You still with us, Marston? Just about. You're alright, boy.